Most people in Imtiaz's network are deep in hiding. I'm meeting Naz, a teenager who says she's in fear of her life. Her family are from Iraq, but moved to Britain a few years ago. I think it started to click for them that I wasn't believing anymore when I was about 18 and I just stopped praying, I stopped participating in Ramadan. I wasn't really going to the mosque with my mother anymore. Naz says her father tricked her to go on a family trip to Iraq and then imprisoned her. He took me to one of the bedrooms in the back of the house. It would always start with, you know, you'd watch him upon us. You can actually see his anger build up until the moment where he would explode. Imagine some guy, six foot tall, just beating down on you. But imagine that times 10 for half an hour. So he'd, he'd beat you for half an hour? Yeah, yeah. He probably would have gone as far as killing you. After a month of abuse, she managed to escape and found safety at a Western embassy. She was repatriated to Britain and the ex-Muslim network has been helping her recover. Almost everyone I know from this support group has gone through emotional abuse. And it's really, really big in this community and in this religion if you're not a believer and you have to pretend to believe. The parents just don't know about that and if they would knew, they would either disown them or do horrible things to them. <laughs> 